It's crunch day. We're playing Chelsea again in the Champions League. But if we win it, we qualify from the group. No questions asked. That's all we need to do. Win the game. Roll the intro. Crack on. Everybody have a party. Welcome back to the NK Maribor Save. I am Cultured Left Foot and it is a pleasure to have you with me once again. So, as I said, it's Chelsea. I'm feeling quite calm about it. I think we're going to win. I've got this feeling that we're going to win. Feeling deep in my fingers, in my bones. Yeah, as Wet 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 once sang, I think. I don't know, it's showing my age. Anyway, yeah, Chelsea. But Since we last, you know, got thrashed by Leverkusen 3-0, um, we beat Ruda Valenje 2-0, Cardos and Sancho getting two late goals, which was very nice. Then we beat Selge 3-1 with Cardos and Tlele getting the goals. Then we beat Mo Nerva Mesto with Bosek getting the goal. So today, we play Chelsea, and interestingly enough, in the press conference, Luis Enrique was praising our passing style, saying he likes the way that we get the ball down and play, and you know, all that nonsense. You've all seen the press interviews. So, I've got a ploy. We're not going to play possession football today. We're going to play counter-attacking, more direct football, try and catch Luis Enrique out, and see how it goes. Not really anything else to discuss about that. We've got a few players back from injuries and suspensions. And um, generally, we've got what I would class as probably our strongest team um, that we can put out. There's no one really missing from our starting 11 or starting 15, 16 players. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to crack on, get out there, beat Chelsea, do the next stage for the Champions League draw, and then crack on with the series. But yeah, let's, let's go with it. Let's go. See you at game day. Okay, so I said we could play pretty much our strongest team, and that is what we've got out today. Makachevsky in goal, who, by the way, is now... I know he's not called Makachevsky. Makovics, Makovits, Makovits, set name. I need to check something. He's six foot one, so he's taller than me. So thank you very much to whoever said he should be called Big Mac. It's done. Big Mac in goal. Uh, Gleasing, who... I can't... When did we sign him? This is another one. When did we sign him? We signed him three years he's been at this club nearly. Three years. Look at his name. Look at his name. Geising. G. That's an I. It's got a dot above it. It's an I. G-I-E-S-S-I-N-G. It's not Gleasing at all. It is not Gleasing. So, for the purpose of me wanting to be right, his name is now Lucas Gleasing. Like that. Lucas Gleasing, yeah. Glee. Gle no, that would be Glessing, wouldn't it? Lucas Gleasing, there it, Glee, like Glee, like the TV show. Brilliant, he's in. Right, Big Mac in goal, Lucas Gleasing at right back. Hasby, Pavlin and Hlela at left back. Takak set holding midfield. Luis Carlos and Blasic at the midfield too. Green on the right, Sancho on the left and Cardos up front. I did say what I was going to do is mix this up and I'm going to do it when you're here. So we're going to go counter. We're going to take off. Uh, we're still going to play out of the defence and exploit the middle, but we're going to go more direct. So we're going to take off, retain the passing. We're not going to run at them. We're not going to be more expressive. We're not necessarily going to look for the overlap. We're still going to leave these guys on attack, but we're not going to look for the overlap because what that actually instructs people to do is hold the ball up looking for a marauding fullback. So we don't want that, to, that, that today. We're not going to close them down as much. We're not going to push as high, and we're going to sit at the normal tempo. Now, we're mixing it up a fair amount, and we're going to be flexible. We're going to be counter-flexible, and that's what we're going to be. We're still going to pass into space because we've got a lot of pace up top, and I'm hoping that these little formation changes will really help us out. I've just noted that Hasby has abysmal morale. Why did he have, He's got three positives and no negatives. Why has he got abysmal morale? What a dickhead. Right, so there we go. That is, that is, that's the tactics, and that's the lineup. Chelsea line up like this. Kozig in goal, Grace, Oliviere, Chiala, Ibrahim, Ibrahim, Bazoa, Gutierrez, Bernardo Silva, Kingsley Coman, Menard, and Vasek up front, or Vasek, Vasek, I don't know which one it is. Fernandez, Perea, Mustafa, Labriz, Kovac, Kovac, Kovacevic, Jimenez, and G on the bench. JG! Uh, that's, that's how we go. Opposition instructions, you're going to see all of this. What does he think we should do? He thinks we should only close down Bernardo Silva. I think he's an idiot because we're also going to tackle hard there and we're going to tightly mark their wingers so that our fullbacks tightly mark them. Roman Vosek can be tightly marked as well. Um, 
I think isn't Bogarts are really good. Yeah, he can pass. So let's I'll tell you what. Let's crump him. Let's just crump them all. Let's just crump absolutely everybody. Why not goalkeeper as well? Close him down when he's got. Oh bloody hell! Close him down as well when he's got the ball. So show him onto his weaker foot. Don't let him kick it properly. Team talk. Tell them it's for the fans. Mm, mm, right, that's the one I used against Leverkusen. I said we can secure qualification for the first knockout round with a win here, so go out there and impress me. It backfired. We lost three. We lost three nil. So um, go out there and give the fans the money worth. Brilliant. Absolutely loved it. They gained confidence because I told them to go and play for the fans. Excellent. Oh my God, Hasby's not fit. He'll be all right. It's fine. Marinovic is on the bench if needs be. Um, yeah, come on. Big game from Alex Cardos. That's what we need today. And we are underway. Not as attacking. Playing counter-attack. Going to try and let Chelsea have the ball. If it all goes tits up, we'll just go back to how we normally play. But there is a corner for Chelsea. Bernardo Silva, the ball in. Looking for Menard, who heads it. But Hasby did very well to get the header there first and heads it off for a corner. At the moment, we're in third. So at least we know we've got the Europa League if Leverkusen beat Basel, which is highly likely. But it is Bernardo Silva again. Ball in. Luis Carlos clears. Ibrahim picks it up. Back to Bernardo. Bernardo is blocked. Sancho, can we counter? This is why we're playing this way. Cardos, great ball out to Green. Don't end the highlight there. Just don't end it there. It gets all me excited. gets my hopes up. And then it ends the highlight. What a load of tosh. Another corner to Chelsea. It's ball into Cax. Heads it away. So I've already lost count of how many corners that is. Can we counter? Luis Carlos looking for Green. Couldn't get there. Menard, great tackle from Gleasing. Green, ball over the top. Cardos, he's through. He shoots. Oh, good save from Kozik. He got a lot of power behind that shot, Cardos. Look at that possession. We are giving it up, but looking to counter. Green, ball in. It's cleared by Bernardo Silva. Menard brings it away. He is heavily outnumbered, and Jadon Sancho does very well to win the ball back. Halela, out on the left-hand side. What can he do? Can he win a corner? He puts a ball into Sancho. Sancho, Luis Carlos, shoots. Oh, Kozik makes another good save again. And Basel are beating Leverkusen. Holy shit, that's made it interesting. Blazic ball in. Pavlin couldn't do much else with that. It just sort of hit him and goes off for a corner. Wow, this what a start. Seven corners inside 11 minutes we've had. Luis Carlos gets it away. Carlos wins the header, but Ibrahim picks it up. Olivier. Oh, I'm struggling for breath. I'm going to need a beer in a minute. Bernardo. Bernardo runs in. Into face. It shoots. Mac and well, Big Mac. I don't know why it's not calling him that, but Big Mac makes a good save. And Leverkusen have equalised. Panic stations are reduced again. Green flicks it on really well. Sancho picks it up. Can we counter to Pavlin? Pavlin back to Big Mac. Out to Hasby. Hasby's got a bit of space in front of him. He gives it to Green. And again, it ends the highlight. Blazic with the ball in. Green picks it up. Will he use Blazic again? He doesn't. Ball in. Carlos! Oh! I thought it was in. He shot it just wide. Wow, this is a frantic game. Absolutely frantic. Blazic again over the free kick. Ball in. Keeper came out wondering, but didn't need to get there in the end to catch to Pavlin. Luis Carlos, Sancho, Pavlin picks up Green. Green can't get the shot off. Carlos is all very congested in there. Luis Carlos shoots, blocked, and it's another corner. And these corner tallies are going up 11 inside 25 minutes. Blazic looking for Carlos, but Green picks it up on the edge of the area. Carlos is there, tries to fire across, couldn't get it across, and Chaya looks to bring it away and hopefully allow me to take a breath because this is absolutely frantic. Um, Luis Carlos has given away a free kick. Didn't get a card though, so that's okay. Leverkusen have the lead, so that's okay. We're all alright. Everyone's happy. Gozoa, Gothaus into Bernardo Silva. We're, I'm happy with the way we've started, and now I've said that, we're probably going to concede. Grace has got a bit of space into Kingsley Coman. Hasby gets it away. Cardos, this is where we counter. Run at them, Cardos. He is running at them. He's doing very well. Alex Cardos to Blazic. Blasic to Carlos Green, round the corner, put it in Carlos, he has put him in, he shoots straight at the goalkeeper. Kozig puts it out for a corner, we're creating the chances, we just can't put it in the back of the net. Sancho with the corner and it's cleared by Grace. And this, what a game this has been already. Gleasing with a throw into Carlos, low. Luis Carlos is on the edge, oh my god. It's just not going in, it is just not going in. And Bernardo Silva shoots Big Mac with a great save over the bar. And it's another corner for Chelsea. And Leverkusen have got a 3-1 lead that is getting comfortable in that game. And Olivier Ray is snuck in at the back post. And you could argue that's undeserved for Chelsea. Okay, they've had four shots, all of them on target. But uh, we were getting into that game. We were doing well. And with it sitting how it is, we're, uh, we're in third. But it's relying on the Leverkusen game. Flicks at the back post. Olivier is a totally free header, completely unmarked. 
which is annoying because we've brought all of our players back to deal with set pieces. But can we get any sort of reply? We can! Jacko Pavlin is there for an instant reply. Corner in from Sancho. Jacko Pavlin made me celebrate like a complete retard. But what a goal. Great time to score. Sancho dinks the ball in. Jacko Pavlin, as unmarked as Oliviere was at the other end. And Jacko Pavlin sticks it in. The Maribor lad. Homegrown hero. What an absolute legend. And it is 1-0 at half time. And I am going to tell them assertively to keep it going. Um, oh, no, I'm happy. That's what I'm going to tell them. I'm happy with the performance. And then I'm assertively going to say, I have faith in you to improve and play even better. And they absolutely love it. Hasby's fitness seems to be doing okay. Cardos is having a, a poor game, which is much unlike him. But we know that he can he can just turn that screw in an instant and get something from the game. Blazic looking for Gleasing out on the right-hand side. Ball across. Kozig spilt it. And then Che, I think, had to get in there and clear it. Couldn't quite see. Basel have got another goal back, so it's 3-2. So that equaliser is looking important. Green to the edge there. Lella left back, shoots, and it grazes the top of the bar. And we're, we're doing all right. We are we are playing all right at the moment. Andre Green up the line to Cardos. Cardos to back to Green. What can he do? Cuts in field, tries to put Cardos in. Yeah, with a back pass, I thought it was going to be short. Blas, it turns the header. Sancho's in. Sancho's in, and he's shot. And Kozig makes a great save, and it's going to be like the bloody Basel game again where the keeper gets man in the match. Blazic ball in, Kozig with a good catch. This is a... I'm really happy with the performance. I don't think I can argue really with what's going on. It's a handball, and we've got a penalty. We've got a penalty. It's going to be to Cax. It's going to be Ladislav to Cax against Chelsea. Come on. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. What an opportunity to get the lead. And he's missed it. Ladislav to Cax. His rating plummets after missing that penalty. And I can't keep Cardos on when he's like that. Can I keep him on when he's at a performance like this? Luis Carlos isn't having a good game. To Cax isn't having a good game after that penalty miss. Uh, it's going to have to be Cardos just to see if we can get a different bit of impotence up front. Has Begovic, he's lost his form that he had from earlier on in the season. Generally, though, he's good for a goal, Hasbegovic, and he's tall and he'll occupy the defenders. So here he comes. Stanko Hasbegovic comes on. I think I'm going to have to take Luis Carlos off, who's also not playing very well at the moment. But with 20 minutes to go, it's been a very good performance, and it's come out wide, and we are still... What a ball through, Hamza Begovic, he's just come on the pitch. He's beaten one, he's beaten two, and he's put it into the top corner, and I said he's good for a goal, 12th goal of the season. What a run from Hamza Begovic, I look forward to seeing this. And it was booted in, and the defenders had the pace to catch up with him, but his skill, apparently, just got him through, and Kozig was beaten, and he could not do anything about it. And when this replay ends, we're going to go into the tactics. And we're just going to drop. We're not going to change it dramatically. We're just going to drop these two. They're just going to play how they want to play. Um, we are going to drop Blazic back as an advanced playmaker, though. Stop throwing so many people forward. Um, in Oh, no. No, 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 no. Stop playing, throwing so many people forward when it's like this. Luis Carlos is still having a pretty poor game. I'm wondering, we'll give him a little bit longer because we've just got the lead. So I don't want to change it too much in the in the domain of personnel. But I'm hoping we can keep it on. They're still playing with their 4-1-2-3 wide formation. And it's into Vasek, out to Bazur, shot blocked. There is a counter-attack on. Hamza Begovic picks it up to Barzic, to Sancho. Up to Hamza Begovic. There is a man over the square. He finds him. It's Luis Carlos. I should have taken him off. <laughs> I uh, Yeah, probably should have taken him off. But we're, we're doing well. Blazic takes this corner. Swings the ball in. And it's fallen to Hamza Begovic. Give it back to Blazic. He does. Ball in again. Looking for Green. Gleasing will have time and space at the back. Just to clear it up. And Luis Carlos' performance hasn't performed. So we'll get one of the Slovenian chaps on. Passing 14 from Lovric. And even Tleld passing 14. Okay, um, hmm. which one do I bring on? Which one do I bring on? We're going to go for Hleld, for Luis Carlos. He's going to stay as a centre fielder on support. I mean, Takak still hasn't had the best of games. But again, we're going to leave it for now. A couple of minutes and we're going to go to waste time. But we it's been such a good performance. There we go, we're into the last five minutes. So after this attack... We'll see what happens from this. Kingsley Coman, ball in, Pavlin, heads clear. Bernardo Silva shoots. It's wide. Let's just hold 
just batter down, hold down everything. Right, you can go to a defensive fullback now. How do you want to play? You want to play as a fullback on, well, we'll keep you on support rather than on attack. Uh, to Cax as a half back, we'll now drop Blazic down to a deep line playmaker on support. Uh, Lel can stay there. Green, you guys can drop back here. You want to be a winger on support, and you prefer to be a winger on support. Hamza Vigovic can stay up front. I sort of want to get some fresh legs on somewhere, but I'm not going to risk it at the moment. And we're going to go to waste time. We're going to lower the tempo. We're going to retain the possession, shorter passing. Um, don't need to exploit the middle. Actually, no, we're not. We're not going to retain the possession, but we are going to play at a lower tempo. Um, not too fussed about playing the ball. Yeah, no, play the ball out of the defence. Don't care where it goes. Uh, keep working the ball into the box if possible. Uh, more direct passing. Don't need to retain the tempo. We'll keep that the same. We're going to waste time. Do I drop slightly deeper? I'm not going to, but we are going to stay on our feet. And we are going to be more disciplined. And hopefully see it out. That's all, all we need to do. Five minutes plus injury time to see this out. And it's a long ball forward. And Bernardo Silva's picked up the, the header from the back into Menard. And I've forgotten to do a question again. I'm so sorry. This game's so intense. And Big Mac makes a good save from Kovacevic. And yes. Oh, oh, have you ever been involved in a game this tense? I mean, I... I I'm chatting a lot, so I know that I'm a little bit nervous. And I was calm before the game, but we haven't really played as well. Oh, hello, gets away. Menard's shot is blocked by Gleasing. And, oh my word, this is intense. Bernardo Silva ball in. Big Mac comes with a save. Oh, wonderful stuff. And I think I'm going to use a time-wasting sub in a minute. Kingsley Coman, Kovacevic to Bernardo Silva. Oh, what a ball that is to Menard. Ball across. Big Mac makes a saving. Giesing puts it out for a, a, a corner to Chelsea. Oh, my word. We, What do I do? What do I do? I've just got to get a defensive player on, I think. And it's going to be James Bree. He's going to come on for... He's going to come on for Andre Green. And I know he can't really play there, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to move you into the middle. Sancho, just sit there. You can now definitely just come on a fullback defend. Uh, Centre midfielder support. Deep line playmaker defend. Defence midfielder defend. Just keep keep the people back. Come on. Bernardo Silva, ball in. Hamza Vigovic with a header away. Kingsley Coman shoots Big Mac with another important catch. That could be the most important catch he's ever done. Could literally be the most important catch he's ever done. As time goes down, Pavlin to Takax. To breathe, the subs should come on. Sancho, Hamza Bigovic. We are not throwing men forward. Look at this at all. We've not given him an option, but there's nothing we can do. Uh, I'm going to panic and go to contain. Hleld picks it up into Blazic, to Sancho. This has got to be it. Blow the whistle, ref. Jordan Sancho runs for the corner, and it's fine. It's gone out for a throw to NK Maribor, and this has got to be time. It's got to be time. Hamza Bigovic into Heller, to Kax, to Blazic. Blasic back and it's a full time. We've won the game. My voice is just broken and I've apparently just hit puberty at the age of 31. What a result. We qualify from the group. I said all we had to do was beat Chelsea and we've only gone and done it. And it's absolutely amazing. What a fun with a missed penalty as well that I'd forgotten about. Oh my word. That is absolutely superb. We qualify. I mean, we qualify second from the group. Which means we're going to get a tough draw, but absolutely superb. 1.29 million. We qualify from the knockout round. Wow. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Unbelievable stuff. We'll do the press conference together. Ah, oh, I agree with the official completely clear penalty. Stan Skogic, capable, magnificent player. Um, it was a great time to score. A moment that has to boost morale. It was, I'm delighted we weren't at the races for the start, but we made some changes and fixed it. So coming through with us, let's have a look at the, well, UEFA Champions League. Here we go. So Man United and Madrid. So we can face Man United. Barcelona, Fenerbahce. We can't play Fenerbahce because they finished second as well. Bayern, PSG, Inter, Man City, Atletico Madrid, Juventus, Arsenal, Monaco, and Leverkusen and us. So it's highly likely that in the run of, Games we've had, we're going to get Atletico Madrid, I reckon. 
or Bayern Munich because they're the two we've played before in this series. I'd love a game against Man United again, I think. Barcelona would probably be a bit too much too soon. But if we're going on points points gathered, I mean, look, our group was well, the closest quite away. But, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. But maybe Inter. Inter would be a good draw. I think, I think we could probably beat Inter. But, yeah, what a performance. So we'll have to wait. When is the draw? The Champions League first knockout round draw. So I'm going to play Cursico offline and we'll be back for that knockout round draw. And I'll see you guys right there. What a win. Okay, so we're back for the Champions League draw. I've got my beer. Let's crack on with it. We are not seeded, funnily enough. So here we go. Automatic, well, seeded teams. Arsenal, Bayern, Inter, Man United, Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, Leverkusen, Benfica. Obviously, out of all of them, we can play absolutely anyone other than Leverkusen because they're in our group. We are quite easily the weakest team. Oh, I don't know, actually. Fenerbahce are probably weaker than us. But if you look at the unseeded teams, it includes Man City, PSG, Dortmund, Juventus and Real Madrid. So maybe I should have wished for the Europa League. Who knows? Automatic draw. Let's get this underway. Real Madrid are first out the hat at home to Leverkusen, the people that won our group. Interesting. Man City are at home and playing FC Barcelona. So they're gone, which is good. Dortmund are going to be playing Man United. So NK Maribel, we're at home in the first leg playing Bayern Munich. Oh, good. AS Monaco have got Inter Milan. PSG have Atletico Madrid. Juventus are going to be playing Benfica, which means Fenerbahce or Arsenal. There we go. Fenerbahce at home will be playing Arsenal. And brilliant. We've got Bayern Munich, managed by Pochettino. Oh, they're going to be really good. I mean, look at their hot prospect. He would be the best player in Slovenia. He really would. So... They are first in the Bundesliga at the moment, ahead of joint on points actually with Leverkusen, and Leverkusen are the dominant team. So we've proven we can get a draw against Leverkusen um, in this year's Champions League, so we've just got to go one better and, and beat Bayern Munich. I'm not saying it's an impossible job, but it's going to be pretty hard. But there we go. That's what we're in the Champions League for. It's days like this is why we enjoy the Champions League. I say days like this. Days like when we play Bayern Munich, which will be the next episode. But yeah, there we go then. Somebody asked me in the comment section to show you the Slovenia, uh, how the league rankings are doing. And there we are. We are 13th. We've had a big jump um, with our good runs in Europe. I'm aiming at the end of this season to hopefully be up here somewhere around about 11th. Hopefully we might be able to just, just creep into the top 10. But we will have to see how that goes. But yeah, we've, um, we took this... Dip. We started at 14th. Well, we got to 14th at one point in 2022. We, we took a dip 16th, 20th, 19th, 17th, and then a big jump up to 13th with how we're doing in the um, European competitions. If we look at the uh, national club coefficients, that's what I wanted to look at, you can see we are here at 34.25 for next year, which will put us above Greece and will put us above Croatia. So potentially we will be 11th, but we don't know what else is going to happen here. Because as I said, we are very, we're edging closer to, who's that? That's now Russia who we're edging closer towards. So there could be some jumping up and down and quite a few changes. But thank you very much for watching, guys. It has been a pleasure to have you with me. What a win against Chelsea. Please say hello in the comments. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about that Chelsea game. But it's been really good and I shall see you for the next episode, which will be Bayern Munich, when we'll also be discussing the January transfer window. Cheers, boys, and I'll catch you in a bit. I'm out.